I ain't messing around. Let's go. Ah, a world governed by darkness. And the world of night suits me perfectly. The piercing coldness lingering in the air. The mystical cold breath coming out of my mouth. A world free of all sound. Except the chirping of insects and the sound of wind. And above all, the perfectly serene atmosphere. It never fails to amaze me just how tranquil the world can be. Looking up, I see the moon shining like silver. The moon shines brightly in solitude. The moon's gleam draws me into no end. The moon's glitter fuels my cravings of all kinds to infinity. The world of silence surpasses the world of noise. Well, that was pretty crazy. The beats of red and the pulses of life. Oh, how I find those to be of utter beauty. Oh, how I find those to be of utter mystery. I am a hunter. I live for eternity and I am no doubt a hunter for life. It's like hyping himself up. All disturbances are out of the way. Perfect. Now. Let the hunt begin. Nice music to bid some Schmitz. Why? This is a wonderful night. The disturbances of the day have disappeared, and the humans have let their guard down. This is the perfect environment for hunting. This is no doubt the best opportunity ever to hunt. Yet, why? Why don't I have the urge to hunt humans at all? Oh, snap. I'm surprised you've brought a human along. No, I'm even more surprised you've been hanging around with humans instead of just hunting them. I'll hunt when I feel like it. It's no big deal. At any rate, it's just a matter of doing it sooner or later. Sooner or later, huh? But why don't I feel like hunting now? The old you was feared by many humans as the Satan, but now you're nothing like that. This is but a small village. The villagers here lack any firepower. The vi their vigilance against the outside enemies is extremely low, and they hardly have the ability to deal with mid-class and above vampires. If I'm willing to, I would be able to turn this village into ruins within a half a day. Why am I not doing that? Here I am in the ever unchanging world. The atmosphere and the wind at night haven't changed one bit. The night is the same as ever. The glittering moonlight shines periodically as always. The stars twinkle just as they constantly do. All these phenomena have been occurring time and time again for thousands of years. And it's tonight is the first time I get a sense of discomfort. Oh no, you're bleeding. Did you just protect me? At any rate, the bleeding has to be stopped quickly. Please wait, it won't take long. There's no need to. The bleeding will stop in no time. No. Can't you see that this is a pretty deep wound? It'll be dangerous if we just leave it be. You might get a wound infection, please. At least let me stop the bleeding. How stupid. Oh snap, this kind of wound is nothing but a scratch to me. <laughs> but more importantly, 
Evet. Why did I protect a human? Not to mention risking myself for a human. N never mind, it's nothing. I just remembered I have to hang the laundry, so if you'll excuse me. <sighs> Unlike you, I still have a long way to go. You see, my dream is to become a traveling doctor. But despite that, she was a kind person. She had, after all, helped me countless times. It's because of her that I want to be like her and pursue the career of a doctor. <laughs> the villagers will probably laugh at me if I tell them that, though. The last thing they want is a drunkard like her. <laughs> How worthless! <laughs> My mood's dampened. I should just call it a night. Oh snap! Oh, oh snap! It's a peaceful night, isn't it? The Vampire Slayer. The city's bustle is unbearable for me. I prefer the tranquility of a village like this. Don't you think so too, Reviel? Huh. Based on my assessment, assessment. <laughs> Based on my assessment, there's one more vampire in this village. Oh snap! And I have to say that vampire, the one behind me, is considerably strong. I'm surprised myself to think you could pull off such an unbelievably skillful trick. Had the other vampire not invaded this village, I might have treated that lady's death as a merely a sudden death. But you can't fool me. I'll kill you, vampire. I'll definitely not let you escape. Remember this. Allow me to say one thing. You're getting the wrong idea about me. What? I would appreciate if you don't take me for a typical vampire that you can simply kill. Hmm. Also, allow me to add to what you just said. There's actually yet another vampire in this village. In fact, that vampire's identity is something you know better than anyone else, no? But why you? At any rate, I don't get why you're even wasting time talking to me and starting trying to kill me straight away. Well, no matter. If you don't intend to kill me now, let's call a truce for the time being. A vampire slayer. I thought you'd be a nuisance, but it seems you're a different caliber from the others. This worthless village has just gotten more interesting. Thank you for that. Snap! Moon is up. Oh. Oh. Kicking the door. All right. You guys having ideas? Oh. What? Oh snap! Three more cores of the seal to destroy. That's quite some way to go, though. Well. At least I know their respective locations. I just have to find them and destroy them one at a time. From here on, you are free to do as you like for the time being. You can start with anyone in the new dungeons, be it easiest or the hardest. You can also focus on training Reviel and his familiars first at the dungeons which you have already tackled. Do whatever suits you. Well, 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 well. I think it's obvious what we need to do. Mr. Reviel! Yes, you need to tag along. Having you along is going to be like a huge different maker. So what if I am? Didn't I tell you before that I can be wherever I want? Well, yeah, you did, but... Um, it's just that there will be a small social event today. So if you can, can do a 10, I'm not interested. Huh? I'm busy. Uh... Mr. Reviel? Alright, alright, alright.
Level 12, huh? Level Twiggity 12. What's our Muns? Kind of low on Muns. I was hoping Luna was going to come along. I'm a little upset that she did not. crazy because I have to actually be careful. Might come in handy. Alright, so I'm level 9 right now. <sighs> well, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. You know I'm going to make another one. We'll go ahead and level up. I don't know what we're going into. It's a lake. So, I don't know. We'll see, uh, we'll see what we do. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, hit that stupid bell. And I'll see you guys in the next one.